न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन एंड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन आर टू फंडामेंटल न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू हैव टू लुक एट एलिमेंट्स एवरीथिंग ऑन दिस प्लैनेट एंड यूनिवर्स इज मेड अप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स द प्योरेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ मैटर एंड एवरी एलिमेंट इज मेड अप ऑफ एटम्स फंडामेंटली ऑल एटम्स आर सेम दे ऑल हैव इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन बाई वेरिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटोन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स You can change the elements. For example, hydrogen have one proton, helium two, carbon six, nitrogen seven, and so on. So far, we have discovered 118 elements. So, if you want to create a nuclear reaction, you have to change the amount of proton or neutron in an atom. The nuclear reaction works on the principle of famous equation E is equal to m c square. It means mass and energy both are interchangeable. you can convert mass into energy and energy into mass so if you take an atom and break it into two you will have two different atoms with different number of protons and neutrons this is known as nuclear fission the lost mass get converted into energy on the other hand nuclear fusion is totally different if you take two smaller atoms and combine them you will get one atom with higher number of protons and neutrons compared to both smaller atoms this is known as nuclear fusion for example if you take hydrogen atoms and combine them you will get helium atom the same process is utilized by our sun our sun constantly convert hydrogen into helium and in this process a small portion of mass always get converted into energy that we receive in the form of heat and light theoretically you can combine as many atoms as you want and create higher number of elements but practically it's not possible even in the sun the reaction stops after a certain limit hydrogen gets converted into helium helium into carbon oxygen silicon and then nickel and iron this is the final point of nuclear fusion in stars after this nuclear reaction stop working and the star dies If the star is massive enough then it will become a neutron star the most magnetic thing in the universe when this neutron star will collide with another neutron star there will be a massive explosion the explosion will be so powerful that neutron and electrons they will rearrange themselves in atoms to create heavy element then iron every gold particle that you see on the earth was created in one of these explosions so it means to create the gold jewelry that you are wearing a star has to die not only once but twice